now the latest on October 13th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Three tropical cyclones are active at this moment in time. Typhoon Hagibis about to die off the coast of Japan and tropical storms Melissa and Ima in the central Pacific at this point. Only the latter one out of those last two producing any related warnings. Day 134 of hurricane season in the Atlantic. Melissa moving out harmlessly to sea. Uh, nothing else going on in the basin. Day 151 in the eastern and central Pacific. Uh, Ima there near the Hawaiian Islands. Tropical Storm Watch and uh, 96E not far from the Baja California Peninsula. Typhoon Hagibis is about to turn post-tropical as it moves off the coast of Japan now after delivering around a thousand millimeters of rain. And no systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time. It's all quiet here. Uh, latest imagery for the wind shear graphic today looks at Melissa. This is how the storm has been looking, uh, trailing off towards the east-northeast in the latest frames. Wind shear slowly dropping a little bit to around 20 knots from 25 earlier. Um, somewhat interesting that it's managed to reach tropical storm status from subtropical as it was initially gathering those tropical characteristics but the storm looks like it could be deteriorating in those latest frames with the convection starting to be cast away a little bit more from the uh, center. You just about make it out on the very top edge of the screen there. Elsewhere in the Atlantic things are looking somewhat quiet although the Caribbean looks like it could be stirring something up. Um, there is the chance that a system moves through there um, and could develop, I mean this is a late season, they're getting towards the later part of the season where anything can happen in that part of the basin. The Eastern Pacific, you can see that invest on the right hand side, not far from the Baja California Peninsula, not looking too bad but still lacking a circulation. And there you can see the tropical storm just to the west of the Hawaiian Islands, uh, the minor outlying islands could receive tropical storm conditions. Uh, the Western Pacific looks like this, uh, what was 95W, I can't see on the system at the moment, I don't think it's still designated, but there it is nonetheless on the right hand side of the image not far from the Marshall Islands. Further west, the uh, Philippine Sea, it's all quiet, missing a very notable typhoon that we've been tracking for about 7 or 8 days, it's gone up north, long gone from the picture by now. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this. You can see uh, generally a, a bit more convective flare-ups occurring across the board, really. The North Indian Ocean, a few flare-ups here as well. An interesting little system moving off the coast of uh, southern India towards the west. Not been tagged as anything, probably won't get to that status indeed. Sea surface temperatures then, looking at the uh, Eastern Pacific, the Central Pacific first of all, by the way, 28 degrees where that storm is right now. Off the coast of Mexico, 28 to 30. Gulf of Mexico, around 28 to 29. Uh, the Western Caribbean still holding on to a few 30 degree waters, uh, but gradually cooling there, even in the Caribbean and out towards the open Atlantic, still remaining fairly warm. And that potential system that could form off the coast of Africa as well, believe it or not, could happen. Temperatures are high enough. Indian Ocean, probably one of the warmest spots of the world right now, 30 degrees on both sides of India and towards the east uh, in the western Pacific there, temperatures recovering after Hagabis. This is Tropical Storm Ima off to the west of the Hawaiian Islands. It's not going to affect any of the larger Hawaiian Islands, uh, but some of the minor outlying islands could receive tropical storm conditions. A tropical storm watch is in effect, although the storm is looking a bit lackluster in those latest frames. It's supposed to be heading off towards the northwest, where increasing wind shear will completely kill off this storm very quickly. Wind shear will rise sharply within 24 to 48 hours. Tropical Storm Melissa, looks very interesting, it's sort of embedded within a much larger scale system and indeed its wind field has been very large for a rather weak tropical storm as it is, or it wasn't that weak, it started off as subtropical 65 miles per hour, has weakened a little bit since then, gradually moving towards the east and one or two rumblings from the models, it's going to die off, but one or two rumblings that it could regenerate near the Azores, well I don't think so, but we'll keep an eye on it. So, Melissa is the latest name in the Atlantic. The next name on the list is Nestor. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Octave. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list, list one, is Hone. 
In the Western Pacific, we've just had Hagibis, of course, the next name is Neoguri, and in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list 8 is Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with the latest. You can find our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and subscribe to us if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well if you'd like to get in touch on there. Search Force 13 all in text. That's all for now. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.